question on factorials it's a fabulous question one of my favorite questions let's go over this 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus 3 into 3 factorial plus 4 into 4 factorial all the way till 50 into 50 factorial so multiple of prime p p lies in the range 30 to 40 10 to 20 20 to 30 more than 40 I mean, we don't even know what the starting point is what are we discussing here we're talking about a very large number 50 times 50 factorial so it's obscenely high it's a multiple of prime p we need we don't need to find p p lies in some range we need to find which of these could answer satisfies us. and so it's a very tough question because it's a it's it's a it's a, it's a dicey question to operate we don't even know what the starting step is right? now it's a fabulous question because of this one particular pattern they're going to be discussing this 3 into 3 factorial or 4 into 4 factorial let's take 3 into 3 factorial I'm going to write this as 3 factorial into 4 minus 1. 3 factorial into 3 is 3 factorial into 4 minus 1. Or 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 factorial. Now this is nothing but 4 factorial minus 3 factorial. Bingo, we have a breakthrough. It's a fabulous question if you just rewrite it like that. 4 into 4 factorial is nothing but 4 factorial into 5 minus 1 or this is 5 factorial minus 4 factorial. Once we write it like this, then we get a wonderful expression for this. So what exactly is this? This term is 2 factorial minus 1 factorial. Second term is 3 factorial minus 2 factorial. Third term is 4 factorial minus 3 factorial. All the way till 51 factorial minus 50 factorial. So what does the summation give us? The 2 factorial and 2 factorial get cancelled. 3 and 3 get cancelled. 4 will get cancelled somewhere. And this minus 50 factorial will get cancelled somewhere else. Or this gigantic expression is going to be 51 factorial minus 1. Now this 51 factorial minus 1 is a multiple of prime p. And p likes in which range? Okay, now we've done the manipulating the factorial part and we come to the number systems part of it and how do we, how the hell do we know what this prime p is key part here we don't need to find that prime p the choices are very interesting 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 more than 40 might a prime from 10 to 20 divide this think about this 51 factorial minus 1 will 11 be a factor of this break it differently 11 is definitely a factor of 51 factorial. So 51 factorial is a multiple of 11. So 51 factorial minus 1 cannot be a multiple of 11. So 51 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 all the way till 51. Every number less than or equal to 51. Every natural number from 1 to 51 will divide this. Every prime number from 1 to 51 will divide this. And then we subtract 1 from this. So none of those numbers can divide this 51 factorial minus 1. 51 factorial is a multiple of every number from 1 to 51. We subtract 1 from that, it cannot be a multiple of any of those numbers. What does this tell us? This tells us that the prime number we are looking for is greater than 51. The smallest prime number that will divide this giant expression has to be more than 51. So it is not this, it is not this, it is not this. This is the answer choice we are looking for. Wonderful question. One, because we get to get, discuss this. Rejig that so that we know how to manipulate this factorial term, which is very useful in and of itself. 51 factorial minus 1 will not have any factors that 51 factorial has. Right? So 51 factorial has all numbers from 1 to 51 as factors. So 51 factorial minus 1 has to have none of these as factors. Or the smallest prime that will divide 51 factorial minus 1 has to be more than 51.